Um, I wanted to understand the difference between HDR and wide color gamut. Uh, it seems that HDR is acting like a catch-all for that as well, and, and, but I don't want to hear a definition of wide color gamut. Yeah, I'll speak about this real quick just because it's so embedded in the calibration software. You can absolutely do 709 HDR and it'll look great. You can change the color gamut out to 2020 and then go back to doing 100 nits and you can do white gamut SDR. They aren't interrelated in a way that you must deliver both. But now that the technology is coming out that we can deliver both, you know, just go for it and go do both of them. You should talk about the UHDI standard though. I think that's... Yeah, and that, that's probably the thing is that uh, with the UHD Alliance standard, they, and you know, what is shipping now on um, Blu-ray is that you know, they've interlinked it so that when you're doing HDR, you must also then make the content or 2020 content. So whatever the that's, that's the game. Yeah. 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 Well, that's the container. Not the game. Well, <laughs> that, and that, was, that, that was actually exactly what I was going to say. Is what I was going to say is that you know the colors must be described as rec 2020 colors because we don't really have you know any master monitors that are 2020 wide yet. So for the most part, people are using P3 capable monitors. And then, so whatever, you know, when you're doing that, you're 100% red of, you know, RGB, you know, 1.000 for 100% red, but then you need to transform it into a REC 2020 color space before you encode it into YCC. And so, the, the right, right, REC 2020 right. container for your color. Are you confused yet? Because <laughs> <laughs> we can add more, that get you confused. <laughs>